Hey church, it is so good to be here with you today. Um, thank you for joining me. Um, I simply want to tell you today who Jesus is to me. My name is Laura Wharton and together with my husband Chris, we are the kids pastors at our Chester location, which is super exciting. Um, but yeah, today I want to share with you um, who Jesus is to me and quite simply, it is that he is the answer to all of my prayers. Who knows that often in life, circumstances, situations, careers, successes, failures, um, they are up and down. Life is up and down. It is hard. It is easy. It is all the things in between. We all face different things. We all have different financial situations, careers. We all have different things that we face that are hard um, and quite often that can lead to us desiring some sort of consistency in our days, in our weeks, our year, whether that's a consistent time that we take for a holiday, whether it's a consistent time um, or a consistent routine that we want for our day. You know, if you're one of those people, like I definitely used to be one of these people that just plans out every hour of the day. But when it comes to that and when it comes down to it, quite often things will um, crop up that we weren't expecting and things hinder that consistency so we're never fully getting the consistency that we desire or crave um, I want to encourage you today that Jesus is that consistency there is a person who has it all there is a person that lived and died a perfect life for us so that we could constantly be in communion with him and and have that consistency that we're, we are desiring fulfilled within us. I want to encourage you with some verses. I'll just quickly unpack them and um, you can get on with your day. It, John 15 verse 10, it says, If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my father's commands and remain in his love. That was Jesus speaking. And... What I love about this verse is that it reminds me that in every circumstance that we face, um, Jesus is asking us to just be in continual communion with him. He's asking us to love and all those fruits of the spirit that we possess to shine that out into the world in our daily life. That's This verse for me just reminds me of who Jesus was and who I am trying to emulate in my day and who I want to emulate in my day. And the only way we can do that is by inviting Jesus in to every situation and circumstance in our day, by taking that second in our day to just position our heart. Dear Jesus, come into my heart, be in this situation. Um, just make sure that we are giving Jesus back the control of our tongues, of our minds, of our hearts. We're inviting his presence in to bring peace into situation where we might be feeling um, anger or fear is rising within us. Just take that moment to reflect. Jesus is asking us to invite him back in. Um, that is what that verse means to me. And then we look at Ephesians 3 verse 20. Um, we all know this one, but I'm going to say it anyway. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. Um, his power at work within us. Remember that Jesus is with us all the time and God's spirit is within us. And the only way we have that is because of how Jesus lived and died and rose again so that we could have God's spirit with us all of the time. Remember to be thankful um, for what Jesus did for us when we approach God with prayer when we when we come to God with requests and petitions um Philippians 4 verse 6 through 7 do not be anxious about everything but in every situation by prayer and petition with with thanksgiving let's say that again with thanksgiving in every situation present your requests to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding this is the part I love will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. It's so important, those last three words, in Christ Jesus. Everything that we come to God for, every prayer request should be in Christ Jesus. We should be approaching um, our prayers 
with thanksgiving for who Jesus is and what he did. So I want to remind you today, whatever you're facing, whether you're having a good or a bad day, whether um, the situation you're praying for is good or bad, or you're seeking healing, start your prayer off by checking in with Jesus, bringing him into your heart, saying thank you for what he did, and just asking God with that thankful heart, with with the knowledge of Jesus is with you. Jesus is the answer to your prayer. And God is allowing us constant access to, to, to him through Jesus. Um, and that through him, all things are possible. And we can ask for things that we can't even imagine that God could do in our life. But he will, because he is a good God and he works all things for his good. Um, just remember today that Jesus is with you. Every prayer that you pray, invite Jesus in, be thankful for what he did and um, just expect that miracle, expect that breakthrough because in Jesus, God has the power to do it through you. So thank you for being with me. I hope you feel encouraged. Jesus is the answer to your prayers today. Um, take a minute to check in. It doesn't have to be a long prayer, um, just something that repositions your heart to give Jesus the access to bring peace and joy and love and comfort and all the things that you are craving and desiring um, in your day. He has it all for you. He is the answer. Speak to you soon, church. Bye.